We made a, a, a couple mistakes in the first quarter, and you know, nobody plays perfect, though, so I'm really happy how we played in the first quarter. Yeah, we had like 34 points in the first quarter, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. 12 for 16 from the field, passed the ball, it looked like it was a pretty complete effort. Yeah, I think so too. I think we came ready to play. We we had to. We knew that they were excited, you know, and they're a good team. And we knew we had to come out from the jump and, you know, step on their throats. They, they hit 11 of their first 13 shots in the second half. What would you guys, were they doing anything different? Were you all um, doing anything different? You know, we, I think we kind of laid back and relaxed a little bit. We didn't sprint back on defense like we were doing the first quarter. Um, we got complacent a little bit, and the fact that they ran it down our throats was good for us to see, like, you can't, you can never get complacent when you're in the tournament because every team is just going to give you their best shot every time. Nobody's going to ever give up. What was that crowd like? Oh, it was amazing. Um, our fans are the best in the country. I don't know how many times I can say it. And they're just always ready to cheer us on and just scream. It's just amazing. What about Maisha? She had a double-double. I think she hit her first 10 shots, uh, kissed the floor on her way off. What, could you tell this game meant more to her since it was her oh, last Oh, yeah. Game? I mean, this is her senior year. Her, her game yesterday, or the last game, it wasn't her best game. So she knew she had to come out and play aggressive for us. We needed her to win this game. We knew going in the post, they couldn't handle us in the post. And she did her job. She handled her game. And this was her last game on our floor. So she was very excited. And you could tell. Did you tell she was emotional? Uh, of course she's emotional. She tried to hide it like she do. But we know she, she was very emotional and she was excited. Well, you get up against a team like, like this that starts four guards and physically is... It's kind of a mismatch. Mm -hmm. How does that affect your strategy and what you try to do offensively? Uh, every, offensively? Yeah, mainly offensively. Um, well, I don't think it affects our strategy offensively. We just know to go in the post. Mm -hmm. um, when the team plays four guards on this, our posts are amazing. So we know mm -hmm. that they're going to handle business inside, and we got to make sure we look for them. Mm -hmm. What did it mean for you guys for Asia to come out with their first five shots? Uh, people have been asking her about a shooting slump and all that stuff. Could you tell that she was on her game today? Yeah, I mean, Asia's amazing. Like, she's never going to just go a long time without making shots. We just had to keep telling her, like, you're the best player in the country. You're going to make a shot. And I can tell when she made that first shot, it was, she felt so good, it was over from there. What about, you, you guys didn't want to really talk about Lexington, obviously, before this was over. What about the fact now that you get a game so close with your fans? Oh, it's great. Um, like you said before, we want to stay present and focus on the team ahead of us. Now we're in Lexington, and we know our fans are going to travel with us because they're amazing. So. It's going to be great for us. The atmosphere is going to be amazing.